Okay, welcome to this Twitter sharer tutorial. I hope that you find it helpful uh, in clarifying the steps involved in using the Twitter sharer. Um, and how easy it actually is to do it, okay? So um, we're starting here. You can see the screen um, with my browser up and right here where my pointer is, you can see the tweet repeater that I have saved here. And that just makes it easier to um, use the Twitter share every day because it's right on my homepage when I open it up and I don't have to go find the address for it. It's already right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that and it's gonna open that up. Now, while that's opening up, I'm gonna prepare by opening up a couple of more tabs and you'll see them here. So I also have my Redbubble store here and I'm gonna open that one up. And then in the next tab, I'm also gonna open up Twitter. Now I also have Twitter as an app on my desktop and oftentimes I use that just because it's simpler for me to just use it as an app rather than to open up a web page for it. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the web page up, okay? We're just gonna move between these tabs as we go through the steps. So you can see that the I'm on the FIA website and I'm in the, the Twitter sharer uh, page. And here is where I'm going to put in the product link for my contribution to the Twitter share today. And you can do this once a day, and you should do it once a day, every day, to make sure that your products are getting the exposure in the queue uh, on Twitter uh, every day, every other day, when Hugo goes ahead and uh, tweets those um, links out. So today I'm gonna put my, my Redbubble product in. Um, more often than not, people are using Redbubble products. I think Hugo just changed it so that you can also use other POD site links, um, but the red it was made for the Redbubble uh, links, so that's what we're gonna use today. And you can see I'm on my Redbubble um, page, my managed portfolio page, and that's the page that you wanna be on because that's where we're gonna find the link that we need that um, is compatible with the Twitter share. So. I'm going down through here to decide on uh, what I'm going to do today, which one I'm going to do today. Um, and I don't know about you, I always have a hard time deciding um, what I'm going to share on any given day. Um, but today I'm going to go ahead and do this green, red and green pattern because it's kind of Christmassy. And so I'm going to click on promote products. And that's the page that you want because that's where you're going to find the link that you need for the Twitter share. Now, uh, the Twitter share, you can use any product that you like except for the classic t-shirt. Please do not use the product classic t-shirt for this particular um, activity, okay? But you can choose any of the others that you have. So I'm gonna use a fitted three layer mask because those are very popular right now. Um, and it's a good product to put out there. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that one. Um, and I'm gonna click right here, copy link. That's the link that is compatible with the Twitter share. So that's the link I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna click that. And then I'm gonna go up here to back to the Twitter share. And I'm just going to paste that in to there, and then I'm gonna hit next step. I'm gonna wait for that to process. And while I'm waiting for that to process, I'm gonna be thinking about the description and the tags that I need in the next step. And so I wanna think about in the description, I wanna think about what my customer or my buyer is going to use as their search for this product and the tags that would that would get it the best exposure uh, on Twitter. So I'm thinking when I'm thinking about that, it's a green and red uh, pattern um, that has a floral or origin to it. So in my description, I'm going to put in green and red floral. pattern, mask, great for the holidays and beyond. Okay. 
Oh, and I've got two those in there. So my Grammarly tells me that I should take one of those out. So I go ahead and do that. By the way, uh, for those of you who uh, do not speak English as your first language, I highly suggest that you get the Grammarly extension for if you use Chrome for your browser. It is beyond helpful to have Grammarly tell me when my grammar or my spelling or my punctuation needs to be corrected and give me the correction for that so that I don't have to look it up. Uh, I used to be an English language trainer, so I understand the difficulties that can come with trying to get the right grammar or the right word or the right punctuation. Um, and Grammarly makes that just effortless to do. So I highly recommend um, that anyone, uh, including people who speak English as their first language, but English isn't uh, definite, you know, easy for them, uh, definitely get Grammarly and put it on your browser. Uh, it just makes it so much easier. Okay, so I've got green and red floral pattern mask, great for holidays and beyond. Now I'm gonna start tagging this. And to tag, I go up to, to Twitter because I wanna know what tags are trending um, or are busy or uh, popular on Twitter that might have to do with this particular uh, pattern that I'm putting up, this product that I'm putting up. So I know that I'm going to put up something that has to do with a mask because that's the product. So I'm going to check on Twitter here and you can see I'm just going to put in mask and I can see that I've that mask and masks is, is both there, but mask up has 210 tweets in the last hour. So that's a really busy tag and I'm going to use that tag. So go back over here and then I'm just going to type in mask, whoop, mask up. And then my next tag, I'm going to go back to Twitter and I'm going to see if there's anything that is busy about holiday and yep, so we've got holiday and holiday season. So I'm going to use holiday here is 740 tweets in the last hour. So that's a busy tag as well. So I'm going to use that tag as well um, since I've used that in my description and for a third tag, I'm going to look for something maybe with green and red. Let's see. Nope, I'm not going to get anything with that. How about pattern? Pattern seems to be a pretty busy one. So we've got pattern, patterns, and patterns, one with a Z, one with the S. Um, none of them seem to be very busy, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and use pattern as one of my patterns as one of my tags here. Um, now it says three to four hashtags. Sometimes I use three, sometimes I use four, sometimes I use more than that. Um, the uh, You can look for other tags that might represent what you're trying to express or or who you're trying to, to attract. Um, you know, different uh, tagging searches that people might be doing to find the things they're looking for. Um, so you, if you're thinking that your product is uh, would make a good gift, then you can put gift in and you're going to see gift, gift ideas, gift ideas with the hashtag. So that's also a good one um, to use. So I'm going to go ahead and add that as my fourth tag here. Okay, whoops, and I put a dollar sign instead of a hashtag. So let's try that again. Okay. Okay, so I have four hashtags and I have a short, concise uh, description on here. I'm going to go ahead and click next step and I'm going to wait for that to process. And I've noticed if I move away from this page, if I go to a different tab on the browser, the process stops. So I advise you to just to stay on the page, wait for the process to go through and for it to finish and go on to the next page. Now you're just going to add your handle. Mine is already saved. So I'm going to put that there and I'm going to click submit. And that's it. It really is just that easy um, to do the Twitter share. And then you've got your product link in for the day. When this process is complete, it's going to tell me that I'm uh, that I've done this for the day, and then it's going to say, "Let's see, thank you. Uh, you've been added first come first serve. Remember, you can come back daily and add a new product link." So I make a reminder in my calendar um, for uh, Twitter share. I have a a Google uh, Sheets. Uh, calendar that I downloaded and I filled in for 2021 that has all of my social media on it and I've created a schedule for my posting and this is uh, 
on my Twitter uh, schedule to do this every single day um, so that I don't forget because it gets easy to get busy and forget to do it. Um, and then your, your product isn't in the queue um, and you're not getting the exposure on Twitter. The other thing I want to mention real quick and really, really quite important is that Hugo has created this Twitter share for us free of charge. Seriously, dudes, free free, free of charge. We're not paying anything to participate in this Twitter share to get the exposure um, on Twitter. And so to, um, to recognize the hard work that he's putting into this um, and to thank him for that hard work, because he is really, really working very hard, not just on the Twitter share, but in the group, he's constantly posting valuable information and doing the extractions for us um, and helping answer people's questions. Um, he really is just doing so much work. And and not asking anything of us except for our participation. So beyond that participation in the Twitter share and the fact that you should be going to Twitter every single day and clicking on your notifications. And when you get to your notifications, you should have added Hugo to your following list, which is this one here, at GifCloud. So add him. Uh, so that you're following him. And then you're going to get notifications every single time he tweets. And those are the, the other products that myself and everyone else who's participating has put up. And at that point, then I just go through, I always hit the heart button and then I hit the retweet button. I go, to, I don't usually put a comment, but you can if you want. And I hit retweet. It's really that quick and simple. Okay. I just like it. I retweet it really just that simple. It doesn't take a lot of time or energy. You can do it in between other tasks or you can set aside a specific time throughout the day to come back to Twitter and check and see how many uh, notifications you've gotten. Just quickly go through them uh, once you've done that, okay? Um, and um, if you follow Hugo, then you'll know when he's, uh, when he's put the tweets up and it's really easy just to go ahead and like and uh, retweet those tweets, okay? The other thing I wanna mention about uh, this uh, FIA page, once you're done putting your Twitter uh, uh, submission in, is that you really need to also support Hugo in this work by clicking on the ads, okay? You can also buy him a cup of coffee right here um, if you prefer. Uh, through PayPal uh, or other uh, means of uh, just making a cash donation to him um, so that he can buy some probably much needed coffee um, to keep him uh, going throughout the day. But I was recently on Amazon doing some shopping for my family. So I just clicked on one of the ads here. And this just means that he's going to get a little cha-ching uh, for that very easy to do activity of clicking on that uh, if you're going to be doing some shopping or some browsing at Amazon, okay? If not, there are other ads here um, that you can click on as well. Um, I just picked up a free domain uh, from Pork Bun, by the way. Um, the dot .design domain name, if you're thinking about um, branding yourself in the design market for POD, this is a great way to get a free domain for the first year and really um, quite affordable beyond that, but there's no um, requirement. Once you sign up, you can go in and cancel the automatic renewal, but you've got that dot .design uh, domain uh, that's attached to your brand. If you're trying to create a brand awareness for the work that you're doing in POD, this is a great way to do that. Um, so, um, and when you click on that, uh, Hugo just gets a little cha-ching from that. So um, I highly recommend uh, doing that as well to help him out and to get yourself a great domain name. Okay, so that's all I've got for you today. That's how you use the Twitter share. It's really simple. It's really easy. Um, there's not a lot to it. It doesn't take a lot of time. You do have two days to share all of the notifications that Hugo puts up on Twitter. Uh, if you don't get to them all the first day, then you have a second day when he is not sharing tweets to catch up on those tweets. You do need to share all of the tweets that you see that he has put up on Twitter. This is really important because this is a mutual support effort here. We are helping each other to get better traction, better um, uh, attention, more impressions on Twitter 
beyond just our own selves. So you can look at the numbers in the group. Um, Hugo puts up the numbers for the Twitter share um, after each uh, day of tweeting. He puts up those numbers so that you can see the number of impressions we're getting, which is way beyond the number of people who are participating in this. It's invaluable, invaluable. You'd be paying so much money to Twitter if you were putting these ads up uh, instead of doing this. So it's really important that we all support each other, that we all commit to doing the product uh, link submission and that we all commit to doing the retweeting every single day. Now beyond the retweeting, I'm just gonna mention one more thing before I uh, quit here. Um, and I don't have Facebook actually on my front page, so I'm just gonna log in here real quick. Once you've done the retweeting, um, it's also important that you go to the page that Hugo set up on Facebook for Redbubble. It's called Redbubble Products. And you're going to go there and you're going to see all of the tweets that he has done on Twitter. Also, we're going to show up on this page and we're, he's trying to figure out if this is also going to be um, a successful way for us to gain more exposure on Facebook, um, organic exposure on Facebook, because it's really hard to get organic organic exposure on Facebook. Facebook wants you to pay them for ads and they really restrict the uh, number of people who get to see your posts on Facebook. If you've ever had a, a business page on Facebook like I do and I post one of my products to my business page, there are oh, well over 50 people who follow my page. And on any given day, if I post on that page, I'm lucky if maybe six people are shown any given post that I put on that. So that's really not helpful at all. So um, this is another way that Hugo is attempting to get us more exposure on Facebook without having to pay for it. If you just go through um, and you just like or, uh, or love wh whatever you prefer, um, the tweets that you see on here. And then if you see your own tweet on here, um, Hugo is telling us that we should comment on that, something related to the design um, that we uh, that is put up that's ours, um, and then share that design to our uh, personal Facebook feed, okay? So this is a secondary way that uh, in social media that we can get more exposure, um, again, for free. All it cost you is just a little bit of time and effort to go to this page and uh, like com, com, like all of them, comment on your own, share your own. If you see one that just somebody else's design that just really wows you, comment on that one too. Certainly it can't hurt to comment on someone else's great design as well. So um, I hope that this has been helpful, that you found this tutorial useful, that um, you are um, more feeling more confident uh, using the Twitter share and that you um, are seriously considering getting off the bench and participating full uh, full steam with us on the Twitter share. Um, we can only do better the more people who participate. So I hope we'll see you in the Twitter share. Thanks for watching.